Happy Rails to you. Welcome back, my friends. Happy Rails to you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for watching the channel and the videos. Sometimes they go real fast and sometimes they're slow. Happy Rails to you. Thanks for watching. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. This is G-Man, my world 67. I just wanted to do a quick uh, video for documentation. Uh, you see here before you an original uh, Bradford Diner from 1950. This is the uh, early plastic uh, version. Uh, it's it's a uh, hard yellow plastic. It is not painted. This is the non-painted version. Um, and uh, the plastic is is kind of almost like Bakelite. Uh, it's just uh, these are kind of hard to hard to come by. But anyway, I mean, I've had this and uh, I've been wanting to been looking at them and wanting to get one. So I ran across this in my junk and and uh, got it out. Now, what the problem was along with this one, um, first of all, it does not have uh, its own platform. Um, and, uh, I do have the insert for the doors, uh, for this. They're right here. So we do have them. Uh, we don't have the antenna, but we do have the original Branford Diner sign. They are making, uh, duplicates of these now, um, uh, for replacement purposes. And they look good and they look just ex exactly like the old ones. Uh, with the exception that they don't have these little rubber, at least the ones I've seen, don't, don't have this little rubber um, covers on them here uh, that make the adjustment uh, just how far down uh, it goes against the, the top of the roof. And uh, this is the original uh, smokestack on there. Uh, but the problem with this shell was... They had cut the end off of here. Um, just like on this end, they cut off about an inch or three quarters of an inch. They cut off the whole door frame casing. So what I had to do was I had to go back uh, on the end of this and then drop the edge of this down. As you can see, I've been working on it. And then close the end of it in and make <clears throat> a, a portal, a door, doorway opening. And then put the uh, trim around it. Now, I did not get it center. And I thought it was. Um, I don't know what happened. But uh, when I put it all together, it was not center. And I decided just to leave it like that. Um, after all, it's just going on my layout and, uh, I like it. Uh, so I've got this tapered down here, got this done, made this, this wall, this end wall, got the door set, the trim around the door and all, and with the exception that it's over, <clears throat> It's over too far to the right. Um, it looks good. Once it's painted, it will pass. Uh, I've got it all fouled off and uh, sanded down so it's nice and as smooth as it can get anyway. Um, other than that, uh, it would have been the perfect shell. Um, these were broken, and that's probably, I would say, why they got rid of it. I don't remember how long I've had it or where I even got it from. But anyway, 
Don't know why they cut the end off of it like that. Maybe it was broken and they just cut it off. And what I was going to do was take another shell and cut the end off just that end and put it on there myself. But I didn't have a junk shell. Usually I have two or three junk shells. Uh, but this particular coach shell or diner shell, I did not have. So um, I wasn't able to do that uh, with this so I just decided to as I said taper this down so I had to cut it off and then drop it and you see I went inside and first I put this the piece of plastic and then tilted it downward and then went back and glued the piece that I had cut off on top of it and then filled it in where there was problems with the plastic and that brought us to that look which from the side looks almost perfect with the exception that we don't have this doorway right here and what I think we're gonna do is uh, I don't know yet but I think I'm gonna make a little patio scene or something out here and to kind of fill it out. Like I said, it's only three quarters of an inch, half inch, and it's missing on this end. But without that door, it just seems odd. To me, uh, who's used to seeing doors all the way around it, four doors, uh, and I'm sure it would seem that way to others, ones of you that have a diner, <clears throat> have these diners, or a type of diner that has, that was made out of a, a coach. But at any rate, I'm glad to have this, uh, because as I say, this, this particular plastic uh, the ones that are made out of this particular plastic are few and far between. And uh, broken or not, we've got it repaired. Um, and it's not correct. Keep in mind, it's not restored, it's repaired. And it's not going to be correct. On this bottom side, I'm going to probably, I, I'm still out, the verdict's still out whether I'm going to, Try to find uh, or use metal uh, for the bottom plate as they did for the base. Or I'm going to just use a wood and make a wooden base. Well, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably do a little follow-up. God bless. Jesus Christ is Lord. And happy rails until next time. Bye-bye.